we've got here probably the biggest mailbag video I'm going to do. There's a sale on AliExpress, uh, but I've been a bit sick, so I didn't get to the post shop for a while. This is all the uh, stuff that was waiting. First parcel to open calls it microprocessor times two for a total value of twenty-five dollars eighty-four. It's very large for a microprocessor. So got a couple of these cheap universal power strips. Um, so they'll take, you know, any plug more handy for uh, purchases off the internet and Chinese plug that'll fit in a New Zealand outlet, no worries, so we're good to go with those. Next parcel here says it's a soldering iron and a screwdriver. So yeah, we've got a 12 volt 35 watt soldering iron I bought. I figure this will be handy if I want to do anything electrical in the car. Doesn't look to be too bad, I mean, it's got quite a small tip on it, just wires, bearings, so I can put a, c a cigarette lighter plug or whatever on it. And one of these sets of uh, every screwdriver type possible except the one you need usually. There's the list of what's in it, so quite a few different types of security ones as well as uh, you know, Phillips and similar. Don't look too bad, so that'll be quite a handy set and it's got an extension, flexible extension even. Next parcel here says auto parts and makeup tools, so let's see what that is. Okay, we've got some of these waterproof connectors for car use. Two sets of five pairs. And these here are the sold as blackboard stickers for putting on jars and similar. I'll be using these on parts drawers and similar, uh, just so I can label them, hopefully with a chalk marker. We'll see how that works. This one is an LED indecipherable squiggle for $10, I guess that is. Okay, USB to serial cables. Um, not too sure what chip was in these ones I ordered. I actually ordered a few different ones of these, so I'll have to have a look and actually compare these to the listings to see which uh, these are. They'll either be FTDI or the um, or the other one. Power tools and airbrushing. Okay, so some tiny little router-like bits to go in the Dremel. And this is a stand for holding things while you paint. I'm assuming it will also work quite well for when you're soldering cables together or similar. So it comes in parts, so I'll assemble that later. Adapter, $7. USB 3 to a SATA plug for you know, getting data off old laptop drives or similar. So there you go, just pretty straightforward cable. See how these go, these ones claim to support USB attached SCSI protocol which is apparently a lot faster than mass storage devices so we have to see how that works. LED light, $7.99.
So it's arrived intact. Quite surprised these little bits didn't break off or anything. The mains power cable looks ridiculously thin and it's got one of these stupid two pin plugs on it. But let's see. Let's see what it lights up like. Can try out this adapter as well. You can see the patterns on the wall there, and that on the ceiling. You can actually see the wires moving around inside there, which is interesting. Open that up in another video, I think. This one just says gift $10. Got some scroll saw blades. I bought these because I bought an electric scroll saw just to have a go with cutting some things out. Yep, so a pack each of 10, 15 and 18 teeth per inch scroll saw blades, pinned ones, um, 5 inches long. Should fit my Ryobi be fine. This one here's already got the pins busting out of the parcel, so... Yep, it's a distributor. Great. Why did they give me this when all right so this is a SDI splitter so to get video out to my TV in the garage I've got a uh, HDMI over SDI adapter this should allow me to split it to multiple displays So one input, four outputs, and it's powered. And it's got a broken useless adapter. That's one tray down. Pets goods, five dollars. These are some more cat beds. So yeah, two more cat beds, so that's four I've got in total now, so hopefully they'll sort out which one each cat wants. This one I've had around for a while, they called it a scanner, but as you can tell from the package, it is a PC oscilloscope.
So before I ordered this I had a bit of a Google around and most of the complaints seem to be just from people who can't handle installing drivers on a computer so I figure it should work. Most of the feedback from people that have, have it working say it's quite good so a couple of probes. The unit itself. Not sure what that connector is for. So I've got to get two inputs on the front. USB cable. Uh, looks like it's one of these ones to take extra power. And one of these round shiny trinkets that seems so popular from China. So that'll be a separate video definitely. Electronic parts, $3. Okay, this is some form of little FM transmitter board I got. It's got a 3.5mm input and a microphone on it. Bought two of them, as you do when things are cheap. Yep, same thing. So I've actually bought quite a few different FM transmitters, so I'll be doing a video on all of them at the same time. Wi-Fi SD adapter. Wi-Fi SD adapter, USB cable $10. Okay, this is a panel mount USB pass-through. So we've got a threaded thing there with two USBs on it, a couple of USB plugs and bracket to hold it, nut to, nut to go on the back. Another nut to go on the back, and a ceiling cover, and some screws. I bought this so that I can put it on my arcade cabinet I'm putting together, so that I have USB sockets to plug extra controllers into on the front of it neatly. So I'll be just recessing this straight into it. I won't won't be using this um, this bracket at all. M5 to M8 list lifting nut. These here are just simple eye nuts, so it's a nut there and a ring so that you can use it to pick things up. Uh, I got these to put on a couple of things in the garage when I want to lift them. Wasn't sure which size would be the best to get, and they're so cheap I just grabbed a few different sizes. Amplifier for three dollars. So it's just a couple of small little power amplifiers. These are pretty much a better version of those little Li Pi amplifiers everyone loves. Um, just you know, in a nicer case, uh, higher voltage, so more power and volume control doesn't feel like it's from the seventies. So I've got a couple of those. Got here a $12 stage light. Flat par light they call it. Incredibly thin metal. Two thumb nuts. And the light itself. Similar buttons to that other one. You can see a fan in there and a really thin power cable. So 
Let's plug it in and see what happens. Yeah, well at least that mode seems to make sense, sound reactive. Well, it looks like that's setting the RGB values. And it's an awful flicker effect. So as I lower the speed you can see it's reacting pretty badly with the camera. Not sure what what D is. Yep, there on the front of it you can see the various colour LEDs. So yep, just put it on this little stand thing and seems to hold it up okay. So that's everything that was in the mail for the last couple of weeks. I'm going to go start editing this video and then later on get on to reviewing these actual items. So that's the projector and a few of the other things and probably take these lights apart and see what's actually inside them. Thank you.